When an awakened woman expresses her dark feminine energy, it's not all love and light. It is a raw, unapologetic and destructive force meant to shake and crumble every untruth there is. This aspect of the awakened feminine is often greatly feared by both men and women as it exposes that which does not want to be exposed and it doesn't fit into the soft, nourishing and tender narrative that our society has about the feminine. What's up y'all? This is 1028 Awakenings and I'm back again with another motherfucking video. What's going on y'all? Happy Friday! Okay, so I'm doing something different um, for my YouTube people because I got to 5,000 subscriber and subscribers and I'm actually almost very close to six. So I wanted to do something before I turn to 6,000. So I am going to give you 50. Okay, and I'm going to put a five here. So it's going to be like 50 slots. Okay. So what do I mean when I say 50 slots? Okay. So normally only when I'm live, okay, I allow this 28, 28 discount. Okay. But for everyone who sees this video, only 50 people. Okay. 50 fucking people. Okay. So under this video, what you're going to do is you're going to get off. Okay. You're going to put cash app, love, life okay that's my cash app and my name is ashley williams all right all right you're going to pay 28 28 and then you're going to come back under this video and press pound one okay if you're the first person okay all right. Also, you're going to put whatever question you want to ask. OK, so this is going to be like a discount because a lot of you guys have like all these questions. You send me all these messages in my DM on Instagram. So I'm allowing you guys to do this because I know you probably go to work or you're not available when I'm going live. OK, but I'm only going to do this. OK, for 50 people after 50 people do not pay. OK, so every everybody who pays, you make sure you go back and you press pound. Two, and make sure you keep up with it because if there's two ones, one of you ones ain't going to get picked. And I'm sorry, you guys have to follow directions. It's not hard. Make sure you know what number you are. And the first person with the first number, okay, that's who I'm taking, okay? After 50 people, after it gets to five zero, I'm not taking any more people, please. Please do not cash at me. And maybe I'll do it again, okay, for um, when I get to 6,000. And then that time I'll do 60 and I'll take some of the people that rolled over for the other one, okay? I hope that wasn't too confusing, okay? Um, but I just want to do that because, man, y'all fuck with me, you know? So I want to fuck with y'all too. Y'all can get a discount. Um, so anyway, y'all, what's going on? All right, I hope that wasn't too difficult and I hope that helped you guys, all right? So make sure you put new love or old love, third party, money, career, or whatever question you want to ask, okay? Or you could put general, Okay. All right. So let's see what's going on, Scorpios. All right. And I'm going to give you that video with a link. So when you put the number down there, I'm going to reply to that. And there's going to be a link to the video and you just need to look for your number. Okay. So I'll be like number one, but I don't think I'm going to have a timestamp. If somebody wants to do the timestamp, that'll be great. But I probably will write them down as I start. So they won't be confusing for you guys. Okay. All right, y'all. Let's see what's going on with my Scorpio. Oh, somebody is not following their intuition. Who the fuck doing that? OK, somebody need to stay focused. OK, so a lot of you guys could be going back to old habits, talking back to people, you know, you shouldn't be talking to, you know, reconnecting with people, you know, you really shouldn't be connected to. And spirit is telling you to stay focused, man. Follow your intuition. Don't go back to these people, man. Don't go back trying to talk to these people, rekindle anything. OK, if you feeling a little lonely, Scorpio, no. If you're feeling a little bit lonely right now, Scorpio, go out there and just do some stuff for yourself. You know, uh, don't 
don't try to fall back into some old habits. Just try some new habits. 404 on the clock when I said that. Okay. So push yourself to be with some different kind of people. Don't go back to the regular people. Okay. Anything that has wrapped itself up this retrograde, just let that stuff stay wrapped up. Okay. Yeah. Because you're thinking about going on a journey and you're going to derail the change or you're going to put yourself, you're going to set yourself back, Scorpio, if you continue to try to go back to what you used to know. Okay. Like let what you used to know die. Okay. Okay, so this new journey that you're going down, you're on the right path, Scorpio. You need to just keep going. Um, with this change in reverse, some of you guys could be having some laps. Okay, y'all could be going back to old friends that you don't really need to be talking to, old lovers that you don't need to be talking to. Okay, avoid them at all costs. All right, Scorpios. All right, follow your intuition. All right, don't just, you know what I'm saying? Don't do it. Stay focused. I know it's hard. Okay. But stay focused, Scorpio, for real. Don't get knocked off your path right now. You're so close. And we're still in retrograde. We got a lot of time to go. All right. So Spirit is telling you something new is coming here. Okay. Damn. Intentions. Okay. So Spirit is saying you need to refocus about where you're going. Okay. Remember how the past made you feel. Remember how you've already fucking experienced the past, Scorpio, Scorpios. All right. And Spirit is telling you now it's time for you to experience something new. Don't worry about the past because you already did that shit. You know what I'm saying? For real, for real. Okay. You've already done that. I feel like somebody also here didn't follow their intuition when it comes to you, Scorpio. Their birthday could be any month, but on the 12th of the month or their favorite number could be 11 or 12 or you've been seeing 11, 11 or you've been seeing 12, 12 or their favorite number could be 10 or could they they could have been born in the month of October. OK, um, maybe even 11 or December. OK, either way, someone is realizing that, you know, whatever really brought them happiness you know, they probably denied their self of that. Okay. So I feel like this could be a twin flame reading. Okay. I could feel like one twin is very happy, very optimistic about life. And the other twin is very sad, very depressed. And I, I don't want to make this a twin flame reading for you, Scorpio, but I feel like you're energetically connected to somebody. Okay. And somebody is really sad that you're not with them. Um, I don't want to say it's a twin. I just feel like you met somebody and they really like you. They also feel like you have very pure intentions and they want to go down something with you. They think about going down the road with you, marrying you. OK, this could be somebody that you just met and they really want to follow their intuition. You know what I'm saying? But they're scared. OK, so they're doing something to distract yourself because they don't want things to change in their life. OK, you could be very handsome. You could be very pretty. OK, this person's going to have a serious ass tower moment. Moment. All right. This person, okay, is trying to avoid coming towards you. Okay. They're doing that at all costs, Scorpio. So we got patience here and expansion in reverse. Somebody wants to stay stuck. Okay. Very fast. Okay. They want to stay stuck. All right. Somebody feels like that you are someone who is very powerful and you know a lot of things. Maybe you're very intuitive or you get messages straight from the divine. Okay. Somebody also feels like you perform miracles. Okay. And that you are somebody who believes in magical creatures, you know, um, um, somebody just feel like, you know, you the truth, you got powers, you know, do you believe in miracles? You know, a lot of things you're very knowledgeable, but they haven't said it to you, Scorpio. This is, this is how somebody feels about you. And 11 could be very significant because look, 11 is here again. One is here and 31. So somebody could be experiencing a lot of endings and the other person could be experiencing a lot of, um, new beginnings. And I believe that this is all because somebody, didn't want to go with the flow of things. Somebody was going against the grain. They could have been seeing 777 and going in the wrong goddamn direction. Damn, bro. Shit out here rough, bro. Whew. Lord. That was quick. All right. So, Scorpio, you could be out here not complaining about shit. You're not jealous about shit. And you could really love your job, okay? So, Scorpio, you could be out here doing what you love to do. You could be out here not complaining, very happy. A lot of people are winning around you. And you're really excited about it. You know that if people are winning around you, you are soon will be winning, okay? Everybody in your circle could be just excelling and thriving right now. And, you know, you really love your career, okay? You did something that you chose to do. You did something that was very odd. A lot of other people were not supportive of you. 
All right. And for some of you guys, you were completely supported. I mean, just completely overwhelmed, supported. OK, uh, but you also have some energy out here that is just very iffy about you. OK, um, it's a bittersweet energy here. <clears throat> Damn. Yeah. OK, Scorpio, you could have two people here. You could have someone who feels like you and that person are soulmates and y'all are destined to be with each other. But they didn't move on you. They're not moving on you. They're sleeping on the fuck on you. You also have a partnership that's coming in that's also going to give you an engagement ring. OK, so for you, Scorpios that are single, someone is coming in. You you really love this old person. This person love you, too. But I'm just telling you, they are not moving towards you. They could be blocked. I really feel like Scorpio, you kind of got your energy so high that if somebody even moves towards you they have to have good intention to come towards you so they can't come towards you because they're coming with the fuckery all right and because of that you may have someone coming towards you that wants to give you a partnership they really want to commit to you they may want to give you a union i think this is all because you may have like stood your grounds with a particular subject okay i don't know what this is about you keep showing me this can i have a clarifying card on engagement Okay, so Scorpio, the reason why somebody wants to offer you engagement is because you stood up to somebody. You told somebody what the fuck was up. You checked them right when they tracks, you know. I don't think they thought that of you. I think this person thought like you were just humble as pie and, you know, I don't fucking know, but you spoke up, okay? And you're somebody who shines bright, so this person thinks about you all the time, okay? With the shine card, man, you a star. You destined. You're destined to be great, okay? So somebody knows that your future is going to be very bright because you're just handsome. You're charismatic. Everybody know your name. You know, everybody knows your name. Da, 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 da. Okay, so people just naturally like you. They could gravitate towards you, okay? And somebody sees that. Somebody also thought, Scorpio, you wasn't going to speak up for yourself, and they done lost their motherfucking mind, okay? So you could have checked somebody. You could have put somebody in a place, and because of that, they're just like, wow, they're really smitten with you because they thought you wasn't going to do that. You could be in a career that you love a lot all right somebody could be really grieving on you scorpio or an opportunity that they miss with you okay this is somebody who could have been very wealthy but only was focused on material wealth here everything that they manifested is going in reverse this person is being forced to be healed they're first to go to um herman mode and this is divine justice god damn Okay, damn, confidence in reverse. So this is somebody who lacks confidence. They love you, they care about you, they never told you. You also got somebody here that's trying to speak up or trying to move up towards you because they want to focus on you. They want to give into this relationship. They were at a place before where they were very stubborn. Okay, but justice is here. So whoever here is trying to manifest themselves out of a hole, or this could be bankruptcy or foreclosure or something along those lines, it's not going to work. Okay, it's because this person... This person is not being authentic. We got grieving out here, bro. Somebody out here being flugazy as fuck, and it's only destroying their selves. Somebody is fucking their own self because they're using their magic in reverse. I hate seeing this, you know? I be trying to tell people, like, you do this to yourself, okay? Yep. All right, so... This person is dreaming about you, bruh. Their angels and their guys is telling this person to move towards you, but they not. With dreams of abundance, you guys, this person, I don't want to make this the twin, but there's a set in here that's like if y'all move towards each other, it's going to be very successful. But I strongly feel like some of y'all twins is this new person and some of y'all twins is this old person. But I feel like spirit is giving you a chance to decide what you're going to do because this is your divine justice, okay? Also, I feel like the only way that somebody is going to be abundant is unless they choose you, Scorpio. And if they don't, they're going to fucking fail. And that's because somebody had a lot of riches or somebody had a lot of abundance and they were arrogant. They were cocky. They were disrespectful. You know, when people are blessed with a lot, you know, you do get to be still successful. You know, like people be like, man, I don't want to get blessed with a whole bunch of money. Like this is the dumbest shit I ever heard because, you know, I don't want to be evil, bitch. You had to be evil before you got that fucking money. OK, if you a good person, you're not going to turn into an evil person unless you're laying with someone who is evil. OK, if you land with someone who is evil, hell yeah, you're going to turn into something because attachments are going to get on you. And that's the only way that these attachments can get on you. OK, so be mindful of the company that you keep. Either way, Scorpio, you got divine justice coming to you. OK. <clears throat> 
All right, Scorpio, they say, yeah, do what you love. I told you, Scorpio, change of employment in reverse, man. You love your motherfucking job. Whatever the fuck you do, you skilled at it. People pay top-notch dollar to see you do this shit. And you do what you love, and you're going to get high recognition for it. Because the quality of work that you put out, don't nobody can touch that shit. It's like a unique stamp that only you do. And you craft it the way that you do, and everybody loves it. And you got an excellent fucking reputation. Everybody who meets you, talk to you, everybody is just like, damn, you seen Scorpio, man? That's my name okay in a positive way all right that's so crazy all right so scorpio you are the best at whatever you do and everybody loves it they cheer you on you get a lot of recognition for it okay and scorpio says oh scorpio damn somebody is out here concerned as fuck about the changes you done made in your damn life scorpio what and it's causing them bad health they stressing they self well worried about what the fuck you got going on all right scorpio Let's go ahead and figure it out, bruh. You know how I do. Let's see who the fuck this is that's so damn concerned with what the fuck you got going on, okay? That they can't even focus on what the fuck they got going on. You know what I'm saying? Why is you so worried about what I got going on to the point that you can't focus on your life and what you got going on, okay? We're going to take occupation because that could be somebody's boss, okay? All right, so Scorpio, let's see who the fuck is so concerned that it's giving them bad health. You know, you hear what I'm telling you, Scorpio? Somebody is so concerned with what the fuck you doing that it's hurting them. It's killing them, okay? We got to see who the fuck this is because this is fucking annoying. Oh, okay. Damn, y'all. It's a female energy that's walking around acting like they happy as fuck, Okay? So there is somebody out here that is a female, okay, that's walking around acting like they happy as fuck, that they're not in bad health. You know, they could be playing this to you like that, Scorpio. They could be like, hey, how you doing? What's up? You know, playing like y'all cool. They cool with you, but they're not. This person is in heavy fucking despair, okay? They putting a the face up. They acting like they happy, but they really look like this broke ass person. This is somebody who don't have no dog. They don't have no pet. OK, they have no pet and they're really in despair and they need some money, Scorpio. So somebody is out here dogging the fuck out of you who needs to borrow some money till Friday. OK, and they are in bad health, concerned and worried about how the fuck you make money or how you do something for a living. And they're very concerned about that. I'm not sure what the fuck y'all out here doing. OK, all right. So this is also somebody who acts like they are a leader. OK. Who else? Okay. Some of y'all, God damn, this your damn mama, bruh. Okay. Or this could be a younger man that's hating on you. Okay. Um, but it's in reverse. So some of you guys could have a younger male. Okay. Somebody that's young that you used to date that's younger than you. They also put in black magic on you. Okay. A community could have been also saying some shit or very concerned about what you had going on too. Okay, it was at the bottom of the deck energy. I'm not sure why I said somebody's mom. Okay, if somebody's mom comes out, I'll tell you. But honestly, this means a younger guy. Okay, so a younger guy is out here very concerned about what you're doing, making somebody sick. Somebody that you thought was going to be your end-all, be-all is doing the same shit too. Very concerned about you. It's giving them bad health. They're in a lot of despair. They trying to put up a front and act like they fucking happy. Okay, let me see who else. I think that's the last person. Damn, Scorpio. Okay, so Scorpio, you got a person who was supposed to be your person who is official that's supposed to bring balance to the relationship or the situation that y'all are going through. They're in a lot of despair, okay, about your ass, all right? You also have a young person here that's in bad health that is very concerned about your ass. You also have a lover's connection that did not fucking choose you that is also concerned about your ass, okay? They are all concerned about you being successful. We got despair and poverty, which means success. So you may have a sister, a brother, a younger man, and a person that you thought was going to be your end-all, be-all, and somebody who may even be your twin flame, because this is the lover's card. And this is choices. This is in reverse. So somebody made a choice and whoever they chose had bad health. They could have even got it, gave them an STD. They're all concerned about how successful you are. They're all concerned about why you keep winning and why you're not in despair and how come poverty is not hitting you. Somebody could be blitting black magic on you and it literally could be somebody's mama, bottom of the deck energy. I told you somebody's mama is doing this shit too. 
Scorpio, this shit is crazy, all right? Somebody is out here worried about your motherfucking fortune. If these people will be more concerned about what they got going on, maybe they wouldn't be in despair. Maybe they wouldn't be looking for no job, okay? And if you are so worried about what the fuck Scorpio got going on, why the fuck you need to borrow money from someone that you are concerned about that you ain't even give a fuck about, especially with this lover card in reverse, OK, some of these people don't want money. Some of these people do. Some of these people are your family members. So be on alert. Be on alert because somebody is asking you to borrow something until Friday, bro. And it's a no, Scorpio. This is somebody who manipulates you often. It's a no. I told you that sudden wealth in reverse. It's a no. And they coming in quick, Scorpio. So you got like a family member who's coming in to borrow some money. Nigga, it's a no. It's a no. It's a no. Bye.